X-rays are a form of electromagnetic radiation much similar to visible light. X-rays was discovered in 1895 by a German physicist Röntgen. X-rays was discovered with more penetrating and shorter wavelength than visible light. Electromagnetic spectrum is distributed according to amplitude, wavelength, and frequency. The electromagnetic spectrum pitches out electromagnetic radiation and subranges according to frequency that corresponds to different kinds of light. If the light is visible, the frequency will correspond to different colors. Frequency which are greater than visible light, it produces ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma whereas frequencies less than visible light produce infrared rays, microwaves and radio waves. All of this is collectively known as electromagnetic radiation, and they can be found on the electromagnetic spectrum. The diagram shows the frequency types of waves from radio waves to gamma rays where all of them are being used technologically in today's modern world. All of the rays are same as visible light but with different wavelength and energy photon levels. The higher the frequency of the rays, the shorter the wavelength produced by the electromagnetic spectrum. There are two types of electromagnetic spectrum which is characteristic spectrum and continuous spectrum. Let's look at characteristic spectrum which results from electron transitions from outer shells to inner shells in an atom of a certain particle. The wavelengths of the spectra that can be observed are in the range of 10 to 2 to 50 nanometers. These spectrums are generally emitted from heavy elements when their electron transitions between the lower atomic energy levels. The elements are significant in observing the spectra. Two sharp peaks in the illustration occur when vacancies are produced in the n equals 1 shell. The X-rays produced by transitions from the n equals 2 to n equals 1 levels are called K-alpha X-rays, and those for the n equals 3 greater than 1 transition are called K-beta X-rays. The continuous X-ray spectrum refers to Bremsstrahlung radiation observed when electrons hitting the metal target decelerates. It is also known as breaking radiation, as the high-energy electrons approach the nucleus of a heavy metal. Few electrons could come very close to the nucleus and lose a lot of energy, or pass far from the nucleus and give up relatively little energy. Thus the range of the photon energies produced in an X-ray tube will be continuous as it is between two extremes from zero to a peak and back to zero. The relative intensity versus wavelength graph shows Bremsstrahlung radiation curves formed when tungsten targets are bombarded with electrons of four different energies. Now let's look at differences between continuous and characteristic X-ray spectrum. The differences are continuous X-rays are produced when any electrically charged particle of sufficient kinetic energy rapidly decelerates and it produces a continuous X-ray spectrum. While characteristic radiation is characteristic of the energy of a photon given off when a specific electron of the heavy metal is knocked from its shell. It also produced an X-ray spectrum at a specific narrow band of energies. The wavelength of the continuous spectrum depends on accelerating voltage while the characteristic spectrum depends on the target material. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.